Hi everyone, so today we're going to learn how to complete and balance a redox reaction in acidic conditions, given this equation. So the first thing we do is divide the reaction into half reactions, being oxidation and reduction. And in order to do that, we need to figure out which species is being oxidized, which species is being reduced, and split those reactions into their half reactions. So first we're going to look at Mn, and we're going to figure out what the oxidation number of Mn is. So here we know that the oxidation number of oxygen is negative 2. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And to get this formal charge of negative 1, we know that we need a positive 7. So here Mn on the left has an oxidation number of plus 7. And on the right it has an oxidation number of plus 2. So we know that a decrease in oxidation number means a reduction reaction. So we're going to write the Mn half reaction in the reduction side. All right, now we're going to look at nitrogen. On the left, we see that the nitrogen is in the species HNO2. We know that oxygen has an oxidation number of negative 2. Hydrogen has an oxidation number of positive 1. And this overall charge of this molecule is neutral, so the formal charge is going to be 0. So negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, plus 1 gives us negative 3. So that means that the oxidation number of nitrogen is plus 3. Now on the right we see nitrogen in NO3 minus, and we know that the oxidation number of oxygen is negative 2. So negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. And in order to have a negative 1 as a overall charge, we know that nitrogen has to have an oxidation number of plus 5. And an increase in oxidation number means that an oxidation reaction has occurred. So we're going to write that over here in the oxidation half reaction. Now the next step is to balance all of molecules other than oxygen and hydrogen. So here on the oxidation half reaction, we're going to balance the nitrogens. Here on the right, we're going to balance the MNs. On the left, there's only one nitrogen. On the right, there's only one nitrogen. So this reaction is balanced. Here there's only one MN. Here there's only one MN. So that reaction is also balanced. Now the next thing we're going to do is balance oxygen with water molecules. So here on the left, we only have two oxygens. Here on the right, we have three oxygens. So we need another oxygen on this side. So we're going to add a water molecule. And now all of our oxygens are balanced. Over here, we have four oxygens on the left and zero oxygens on the right. So we're going to have to add four water molecules in order to balance out all of the oxygens. Now the next thing we're going to do is balance all hydrogens with H plus atoms. So in the oxidation half reaction, we see we have one, two, three hydrogens on the reactant side and no hydrogens on the product side. So that means we're going to have to add three hydrogens to the product side. And here on the left, we have zero hydrogens on the reactant side and eight hydrogens on the product side. So we know that we're going to have to add eight hydrogens to the reactant side. Now the next thing we're going to do is balance all of the charges with electrons. So we're going to look at the charges on the reactant side of each half reaction and the product side in each half reaction and add electrons where necessary to make the charges of the reactants and products equal. Now they do not have to equal zero, they just have to equal each other. So here on the left our overall charge is zero, but here on the right we have a positive 3 and a negative 1, making the overall charge positive 2. So in order to balance this oxidation half reaction, we're going to need to add two electrons to the product side. Now on the reactant side of the reduction half reaction, we have a charge of plus 8 and negative 1. So it makes this reactant's overall charge a positive 7. Now on the product side, we see we only have a positive 2. So in order to get the charges equal to each other, we're going to have to add five electrons to the left. Okay, so now all of our charges are balanced. So the next thing we need to do is multiply each half reaction by some integer to make the electrons lost equal electrons gained. So that means that the amount of electrons lost in oxidation needs to equal the amount of electrons gained in reduction. 
So the electrons lost in oxidation was 2, and the electrons gained by reduction was 5. So we need to multiply each reaction by an integer to make those electrons the same. So in order to do that, we're going to multiply the oxidation half reaction by 5 and the reduction half reaction by 2. All right. Now we're going to write these reactions together and we're going to add them and cancel out the substances that appear on both sides of the equation. So here we have 5H2O plus 5HNO2 yields 5NO3 plus 15H plus plus 10 electrons. And for the reduction side, we have 10 electrons plus 16H plus plus 2MNO4 minus yields 2MN2 plus plus 8H2O. Now we're going to add these together, but first we're going to cancel out the things that are in common. So here we have 10 electrons on the reactant side, 10 electrons on the product side, so we're going to cancel these out. And we also have 16 H plus on the reactant side and 15 H plus on the product side. So that means we're going to subtract the two, leaving us with one H plus on the reactant side. And we also have water in common, so we're going to do the same thing with water. Here we have eight on the products, here we have five on the reactants, so we're going to subtract these and get three water molecules in the product. Now putting these reactions together, we're going to get 5HNO2 plus 1H plus plus 2MNO4 minus yields 5NO3 minus plus 2MN2 plus plus 3 H2O. And that's how you balance a redox reaction in acidic conditions.